you could see that they really didn't they had so many compositions you couldn't even fit them all in the graphic and really only one for the chalky milkman well i think a lot of people in the chat are probably voting for the compositions they wanted to see well like the rogue mage druid very exciting composition method black the composition they're running with the mana rift it's a little bit slower paced and i think people are maybe potentially voting because of that yeah could be the case definitely some gelu fanboys in the chat we do see pressure starting to develop for Method Black early on with two members of the Chalky Milkmen low on health. Clyde needs to maintain both at the same time, opting to use Iron Bark to make his healing spells free of cost. But even with free casted regrows, Gelu is struggling to even recover. Clyde really having a hard time here in game one. Yeah, definitely. Gelu could be in some trouble. No Iron Bark, no Temporal Shield. Those are the major check marks we want to see from a cleave. Swapsy now into a kidney shot with a smoke bomb. Is there going to be any damage? Gelu activates his combustion but Swapsy with the anti-magic shell should be able to easily survive. Now that he can get on target, he can easily heal himself up as well. That the Black's looking like they're in a good position. Yeah, that's the Black solidifying the advantage that we already talked about in the pre-game. I'm curious to see if Chalky Milkmen have any surprises. They have been targeting down Swapsy. They've managed to get the Glyrus Medallion of Chess, so maybe a swap to him, and that's exactly what Ashley looks to do. Cyclone on Swapsy to remove any of his defense, but even still with a perfectly timed swap on the Chaz out of bear form, they don't even dent him, and that's definitely going to be discouraging for the Chalky Milkman. Yeah, and Clyde already down to around 50% mana, even less than that at this point. He needs to keep his team alive. They need to find pressure, but Chaz is chasing him down. Hasn't really had to put out too much healing yet, so he can afford to just be chasing down Clyde, keeping him in combat, limiting his drinks. You can see Gelu pushing in. He gets the Pandaren Racial Quaking Palm onto Chaz into a potential Ring of Frost, and and then make a swap onto Chaz. I feel like that was a bit of an overcommitment by Chalky Milkman, but you can't really blame them. Swaps and Raikou have been taking no damage whatsoever. Chaz does manage to survive. He didn't have the Barkskin and Iron Bark, so they did manage to bait that out. Swapsy forced to use the anti-magic zone in response to Vendetta, but now Method Black, they're looking very healthy. I mean, they set that up pretty well. They got the Gliders Medallion from Chaz, then they swapped, they got a Bark Skin, then they swapped again with Vendetta. But the problem with the composition that Method Black is running is they will always have an answer. So Swapsy on that third swap has anti-magic zone. If they do a fourth, Raikou has Darkness. A fifth, they have Bark Skin again. A sixth, they have Gliders Medallion again. So this is why this composition is so bulletproof in terms of defense. The Chalky Milkman basically have to overwhelm Chaz if they want to find victory, but that requires them to be playing aggressive and in the face of Method Black, which then maximizes the amount of damage they're taking, and they take a lot more. Yeah, definitely. Gelu still struggling. He's controlling up uh, both Swapsy and Raikou the best he can, now potentially even looking for a greater Pyroblast, but like we kind of talked about, Swapsy and Raikou, they have a lot of different utility to slow down those long-casted spells, and they should be able to stop most of these greater Pyroblasts. Raikou realizing Clyde, he, he sat down for a drink at this point. He recovered a lot of mana. That was actually a big misplay by Method Black. They needed to watch out for Clyde. Him getting a drink is definitely Ooh. scary. Big setup here on Raikou, really punishing Raikou for chasing down Clyde. Chalky Milkman, excellently done. Now they set themselves up. Method Black, Raikou, he has no trinket. Chaz, no trinket. They can get one nice setup onto Raikou with potentially that Vendetta coming up. That's definitely a kill window for them. Yeah, it most certainly is. They've also got Smoke Bomb coming up in their back pocket as well. They have all of the tools to find victory right now to potentially take game one against Method Black, and they need to start preparing. Crowd control initiated. A little bit of a miscommunication. Gelu firing some fireballs at Chaz while Ashley was attacking Raikou. It's, maybe they're trying to trip up Chaz by attacking him during this time, make him switch Life Bloom to himself, and then as soon as he switched Life Bloom, crowd control him and swap to Raikou in a smoke bomb. I, I could see that being an option for the Chalky Milkman. That at least appears to be what they're trying to do currently, but without Rupture activated on the Demon Hunter on the swap, the damage in the swap is going to be a lot lower and maybe not enough to ultimately take him down. They're running out of time. they got to do it quick. They pull the trigger. They do the Shadow Step Kidney Shot. They pop the Vendetta. They have to kill Raikou 100-0 in the stun. They don't manage to do so. And now with Darkness and Anti-Magic Zone, it's likely that Raikou survives. Although very low on health, he's effectively immune to damage in those cooldowns. Although deciding to leave early, getting Cycloned at low health, 
Can they get any more follow-up? Doesn't appear to be the case. Gellert trying his hardest to get a greater Pyro Blaster. Some crowd control off the back of the Quaking Palm. There has been opportunity knocking for the Chalky Milkman, but they just can't close. Yeah, Raikou still has the Blur if he really needs it as well. Just really relying on that Metamorphosis self-healing. Uh. Gellert getting low. Big damage. He still has the Cauterize to fall back on if he really needs to, but he needs to be careful. If Malenik flies in, it completely immunes it, and Gellu gets deleted. Exactly what I was afraid of happened. Uh. Hey, Rich. <laughs> the gates are now open. Welcome, everybody. We're in the lower brackets. Chalky Milkman face elimination. They're just a three-man squad here to have some fun. Fnobbers has been kind of ruining everyone's day with all the roster swaps that he has undergone throughout the tournament series, and this is one of the teams that have felt the pain of that. Now they're not trying to have fun. They're about to get to the grand final, I've, dude. They're they, trying to they win. have said that they are literally just playing for fun. They like enjoy playing with each other on the ladder, and they play this rogue mage composition and basically nothing else. Potentially a team of just good friends playing for fun, like take down the Titanus method black. It would definitely be an accomplishment, but I'm not sold. They're out for blood. They're out for blood. <laughs> Yeah. I bet you 20 bucks Gellu is just smiling right now. Yeah, I don't think this is a revenge match. Chaz now into a kidney shot with the Polymorph onto Swapsy. Clyde imprisoned. Gellu taking a little bit of pressure early on from Swapsy and Raikou. They need to continue this damage. He was the main takedown target in the last game. And I believe, I didn't exactly see it, but I think Gellu actually used his ice block a little bit aggressive there uh, to try to actually push and land the kill onto Raikou, Swapsy, or Chaz in that last match. So potentially, Gellu might have to play a little bit more defensive, but it doesn't seem to be the style of Chalky Milk fan. They're not afraid to take risks, and I feel like that's something they need to do. They want to find a win condition in this matchup. They potentially do need to be using the ice block aggressively. Pandaren and Rachel over the Dark Iron Dwarf. Just these little bits of extra offense could be what they need to actually secure a kill on the match. Greater Pyroblast. Unfortunate for Gallo. Line of sighted right as he blinked forward to secure it. Crowd control lined up here as they are going for Chaz. Whoa! Huge damage out of nowhere by the Chalky Milkman. Are they going to be able to do it? They're one second away. Uh, Chaz uh, He makes, makes a bit of a mistake not renewing instantly. Why is he not using renewal? He retalented for it. Now using it and staying alive. Almost a throw on the part of Method Black once again. Chaz didn't use his bark skin or iron bark in that situation just sitting at five percent health ten percent health really relying on that darkness from raikou and the anti-magic zone so that was definitely a scary moment for method black in the matchup but a lot of offense committed there by the chalky milkman now another caught again here on a chaz could be in a lot of trouble activates the bark skin but there's not the same kind of damage available for gelu didn't have his meteor didn't have his combustion so Chaz is going to be feeling a little bit more healthy, a little bit more confident, actually still just chasing down Chaz. He wants to take him down. Chaz escaping, kiting away, should be just fine. We'll say even though this is a one-sided matchup, either Method Black are overconfident or they're getting lazy. And this is going to be a long tournament rematch against Wildcard Gaming in the grand final. They can't afford to get overconfident. They definitely can't afford to get lazy. There is potential here for the Chalky Milkmen to exploit it. But so far, Method Black are still establishing a lead. I do want to bring up, too, remember how they did get here. I mean, it's off of the back of Raikou not trading out any of those major defensive cooldowns. Is that overconfidence showing not only in this series, but throughout the entirety of the day? I mean, definitely a possibility. Not something we normally see from Method Black, but I mean, it could have potentially been a fatiguing Friday that has lasted until today. But everyone's human. Sometimes mistakes come in, even from a team like Method Black that we don't normally see. It could be an off day for them, but definitely need to smarten up a little bit. There's been a lot of close calls in this series so far, although claiming game number one, Chalky Milkman have been finding a lot of openings. Yeah, but now Clyde is totally tapped on mana and they go for a blind attempt. Who are they going to try and kill? Killing the Death Knight before dampening? I don't think so. Swapsy takes no damage on that exchange. Chaz still has a lead. Clyde with Innervate catches a couple of free heals. Maybe a moment to breathe. I think at this point you have to kill Chaz. You've got no other opportunity. If you can combine Vendetta and Combustion, remove Swapsy from the game with crowd control, maybe sneak in a greater Pyro Blast and hope that they just choke and throw, you might be able to kill Chaz. They've set up good crowd control, but they don't have greater Pyro Blast. Not able to get no, it. Oh, he got it. Did he get it? Is he going to get another? Not a second. And Ashley by himself is not enough damage. They don't even pull a bark skin in that attempt. That would have at least been something. Some work for their trouble. 
I don't know what happened there. Where Chaz did Chima go? I think he might have shadow melded it. Okay, yeah. okay. He shadow melded it. That was a close call for Chaz, but reacting to the situation accordingly when a greater power blast is coming towards you, it's a very scary moment. Does significant damage, percentage uh, based damage ability, so does 35% of your health. It doesn't matter if you're in bear form or in normal form, it's always going to do 35%. So it's very powerful against targets that do have large HP pools. Always going to be a very effective village. Just the problem with it is it's difficult to get off. Now another attempt here. On to Chaz. He has the Barksy and, and as well as Renewal. So it should be fine. Raikou with the Darkness swaps the anti-magic zone. Chaz is going to be feeling very healthy at this point in the game. Chalky Milkman, not a lot of openings for you. Clyde completely tapped on mana, but he does manage to sneak away. And Swapsy needs to be able to stop him. This this is going to be a disaster if Chalky Milkman can actually establish a mana lead. Unfortunately, they are unable to. Now, once again, Ashley. Galu, they're looking for a kill onto Chaz. Anti-Magic Zone gets dropped out. Ashley committing a lot. The Vanish as well as the Vendetta. But it looks like Chaz should be fine. And now Raikou and Swapsy can start really ripping into Galu. I mean, Chaz is being pressured and actually almost out of mana, but Ashley's basically going to have to solo Chaz. Is Chaz going to die to Ashley? I think it's unlikely. And then in the meantime, Clyde has to heal three members of the team with no mana. Healing one as a druid is far easier than healing three as Life Bloom is super effective at single target healing. Clyde is really struggling here. Gelu getting bursted. Still has Ice Block. Needs to be careful. Blocking at 1% health. Obviously, they have they are disadvantaged in the matchup, but they still want to give any opportunity that they can try and get. And perhaps if they can sneak themselves into the grand final, they still have 62 points to their name. They could definitely be more than an annoyance to the other teams, at least trying to get that third and fourth spot to qualify for the spring finals. But slowly, things are falling apart. Clyde sneaks away. Wasn't able to get too much mana off the back end of this. And Dampening is certainly not deep enough for Swapsy to be Ooh. an effective kill target just yet. I'm very surprised to not see them focus more on Raikou. We saw big openings when they focused him in game one, but in game number two, they're ignoring him. Gello gets crushed under the weight of Method Black to finally trying to stay alive. Ursul's Vortex gets dropped. Gello's just casting greater pyros, gets pulled back into the Vortex. Great timing there by Chaz, holding the mage in place for his Death Knight and Demon Hunter to have at the... Ashley is still low. Clyde's lucky here with Innervate available, has a couple of seconds of free healing, but even still with free healing, is having a hard time just keeping his team alive. Clyde doing everything in his power to try and buy his team enough time for an opportunity, but I just don't see any. Yeah, Chaz putting, uh, getting caught into the kidney shot, a little bit of damage onto him, but Gelo just really not able to commit enough damage in this setup. He still has a combustion. There's one more opportunity here for Gelu, but Chaz did hold uh. on to skin. Once again, could be taken down. And after a long, valiant fight from the Chalky Milkman, Method Black, eventually, they just slowly win these games. Unbeatable, but the Chalky Milkman, even in the face of that adversity, have made some potential situations where they could have come out on top. Really looking to game number one, where we almost saw Raikou go down. The question is, can Chalky Milkman create a situation like that again? Are they going to be sent home right here, right now? Yeah, definitely. Chalky Milkman going to have to basically take advantage of any openings Method Black gives them. Any mistakes, any misplays, that's where Chalky Milkman will really thrive. Now Raikou getting focused down, taking a decent amount of damage, but still has the blur available if he really needs it. Reverse Magic was used onto Chaz, freeing him from crowd control. Now Gelu in a little bit of trouble. Temporal Shield gets used, will deflect a lot of this initial damage. One Maledict flying in from uh, Chaz, as well as Raikou and Swapsy, a triple Maledict attempt there, and it doesn't look like it really will net them anything just yet. Gelu should be able to survive. Clyde easily heals him up. All right, Ashley is playing it patiently, holding on to Vendetta and using that to bank a kill, but without accessing its extra damage, obviously every push is going to be almost non-threatening. We see Clyde gripped into a triple stun. Devastation for the team of Chalky Milkmen here as they are on match point and face elimination. This composition crafted by Method Black, powerful to take, powerful enough to take down gods, basically unbreakable aside from huge errors being made on their side. So I'm very curious to see if the Chalky Milkmen can overcome this tightness composition or if they will just be simply washed away by its power. Clyde gripped in the midfield once again, able to avoid any incoming stuns and get to safety. Chalky Milkmen have set themselves up well on this map to sit down for drinks, but Clyde is either going to have a Demon Hunter chasing him 
or a fiendish ghoul chasing him. He's entangling Roots onto the ghoul to try and escape, and Riker says, okay, well, it's my turn to tag in to deny Clyde from drinking, and so long as Clyde is prevented from regenerating mana, Method Black will have Chalky Milkman in a chokehold. And Gelu, in my opinion, has been a great adaptation in this game, deciding to drop the Greater Power Blast. We saw in the last game, Greater Power Blast, Mind Freeze, Greater Power Blast, Grip, Greater Power Blast, Imprisonment. There's just so many little micro stops, little interrupts by Raikou and Swapsy in these matchups that Gelu really can't get effective use out of that talent so opting to go with the fire starter instead so he can use his combustion and then every time he uses his fireball five seconds will come off the cooldown of that combustion allowing him to get that instant cast burst off a lot more frequently and potentially push through some of those defensives method black has Gelo pulling back looking to crowd control the dps members to maybe bait chaz out in the midfield for a swap again it's basically Raikou and Chaz are the only targets I think that can go down in this matchup, unless for some miracle reason Chalky Milkman can make it to 30 or 40 percent dampening, then perhaps Swapsy can go down. Gelo gets bursted, Clyde responds, but exchanges a huge amount of mana just to simply stay alive. Maledict attempt here by Method Black. This could be a cauterize if all three members can coordinate together. Only committing one so far. Maybe a bit of a misfire there on the part of Method Black. Chaz sitting through a blind. If you can sit through a blind sap, then that is really bad manner almost on the side of Method Black. He's comfortably sitting through that. There's basically no damage. Ashley's crowd control chaining throughout and then swapping at the end of it with a combustion meteor. Maybe an opportunity. Maledic flies in. If they don't kill Chaz 100 0, though, I doubt that they will ever do so. Another Maledict. Chaz Shadow Melts, I believe, able to avoid now that near-death experience with Ashley gripped away. Chaz breathing at the pillar comfortably. Clyde's mana really not looking good, <laughs> but I mean, at least Chaz is in almost a similar boat. I wouldn't agree with that statement whatsoever. I think Chaz's mana is doing a lot better, and I think it's going to last a lot longer because Raku and Swapsy can keep themselves alive. Uh, with the amount of self healing that they have. Gelu now potentially looking for some crowd control, finds the Dragon's Breath onto Chaz, but unfortunately, because Chaz was in travel form, there's going to be no follow up polymorph from Gelu. Still looking to catch potentially Chaz out of farm form, but Chaz not falling for it, retreats to the pillar, keeps Clyde in combat. And now it's really going to be up to Method Black. They found, they're playing into their win condition. They get Clyde out of mana. He's trying to drink. They need to be able to slow it down, but they also have to start getting pressure here onto Ashley, onto Gelu. And Clyde actually sneaks away. He's getting a lot of mana. And Sid, this might be the mana lead we were looking for from the Chalky Milkman. Yeah, Clyde doing his best, but I don't believe Ooh. was able to get really anything off the back of that attempt. And now the Chalky Milkman, what are they going to do? I think they're all out of milk at this point. They've got no mana to keep healing. Ashley's stun locked. Three members are dipping low, and Clyde doesn't have anything to trade for it. Geller's just trying to polymorph DPS members, slow the pace of the game, allow more opportunities. Any chance that they can get, they're trying to battle to take but now maledicts are flying in multiple towards gelu the abomination has entered the battle with swapsy leading the charge that's going to boost his damage immensely gelu just goes for it pops the combust tries to get a kill but not finding any damage jazz breaks out of the crowd control easily healing his team gelu has to block he comes out of it and says whatever man i'm gonna go for a kill i guess they've got nothing left it's do or die they have to make a mistake at this point to end up going down but gelu's trying to get as much damage squeaked in here for their final push as possible. Yeah, Raikou charges over. Gelu, nothing left in the tank. Cauterized Prox. Glad trying to keep him alive. Temporal Shield might buy Gelu a little bit of time here. Raikou swaps. He's still putting out good pressure here onto Ashley. But in that last exchange, Raikou managed to hold on to every single one of his defensives. He didn't give Chalky Milkman even an inch in this matchup. And Method Black easily clean sweeps Chalky Milkman. Oh, man. We are feed versus the fake zebras. We're all tied up one and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth. 